Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel and thank you so much for being here. We have new boxes to the channel today and I am so excited. They are the ice cream box. They reached out and asked if I would like to review these on the channel and they are makeup boxes, so you know I said yes, so let's get into it. I have two months worth. contacted me and we talked about them sending them over and I didn't get them and I didn't think much about it I figured they would do it in their next cycle and then I heard from them and they were like did you get them I did not so they sent me the tracking and I went to my PO box and I said to the nice post guy hey and he came out with like six boxes <laughs> that I also hadn't received so we've got some goodies to talk about but today ice cream this is a makeup box. It is primarily makeup heavy, but they do put skincare in it. It is $25 a month. Generally, everybody gets the same products in the box. Sometimes there is some choice or some color variation, but it's a makeup box. And you guys know, I always talk about if I had to choose makeup or skincare box, I would definitely choose makeup. So let's get into this. I have February and March, and like I said, not their fault. Mr. Postman was hiding them from us. Open it up and see if I get lucky and randomly choose the February box. I did. We have our paperwork. I don't know what it says. This is all new to me. I do know that they primarily work with indie brands, which I think is fantastic. And it is February. Love always wins. And then they give us some good information on the products we're going to receive and how much they are. So let's dig in. Actually, let me move some of these peanuts and show you guys what the box looks like. That is what it looks like. I'm just cleaning up the peanuts and went to squeeze them and they squeeze down nicely. I would bet these are the kind that if you get wet, completely disintegrate. Right on top from Estate, we have Space Bound Highlighter. That is what that looks like. Right on the box, it says that it is vegan and cruelty free. If my voice comes and goes a little bit, I've been fighting a spring cold for whew, too long. Ooh, this color is fantastic for me. That is what it looks like. It's Sonic, and it says Sonic Space Bound Highlighter by Estate Cosmetics, $12 value. This buttery soft cream formula will melt into your skin for a seamless glow that blends like a dream. For a healthy, dewy glow, lightly dab your fingers onto the areas that you want to illuminate. For an ultimate glow, apply to your cheekbones, Cupid's bow, and the tip of the nose, and voila. You're headed for the stars. This pink shade is very subtle on the skin and goes stunningly on top of blush. Well, you guys know I am all about the pink. That is what it looks like. It looks kind of like, what is it that um, ColourPop does? The ones that are real shiny in the pots like this? I don't know. I only have like 15 of them. <laughs> Drawing a blank. Letting you know here. Oh, it feels like that too. It is, it feels, I don't know if you guys can tell, it feels so creamy and oh look at that shine oh that is nice it's not chunky it's just some good illumination let's just put a little bit on my cheeks i have a little bit on but i do like to hit here each cheek we have to look the same I'm gonna get this video done and then how fun is this i have a girlfriend that's coming over on she got one of those new electric bikes how fun is that? I'm afraid that when she gets here and I see how cool it is, I'm gonna wanna get one so we can go out riding together. Can you tell I did my pink nose? I think it's super cute. I love highlighters. I don't know if you guys have noticed, I almost always highlight my nose because I tend to, it's a little wide and I think that that kind of boop, pops it. You might've guessed, not a makeup artist. <laughs> Just a guess, right? Next out we have, oh, I took my glasses off. That is what it looks like. What does it say? Bow Babe Beauty and it's Blushing Blush. Ooh, oh, look at the color. These colors are perfect for me. I am just so excited. I love makeup boxes. I was talking in a video not too long ago, trying to get the top open, that we don't seem to get much makeup in our boxes anymore. I was trying to do a giveaway and I had no real makeup to put in it because we just get so much skincare. So love makeup boxes. And I told you guys in the beginning, right, $25, bargain that is what the component piece looks like let's see this adorable pink oh she's barbie pink i love that isn't that so pretty so this says blush and blush to go set by bow bay oh i have another one it's a set so you get a full-sized i'll show you the box you get a full-sized one and a to-go one but they're different colors my big one is called coral blush 
This is kind of fun because my colors are so different that you know one of them is going to be perfect. This one is a metal component. Oopsie, there you go. You can see my ring light. Oh, that is so pretty. It is covered and I'm going to leave this one covered because this color is not perfect for me. So, you know, I was just saying we need some in some giveaways. This color, this is not me. This is totally me. So let's play. I only have my finger here. I need to get some brushes. Since I did the room switch, I don't have a lot of my brushes up here. That is what the pink looks like. Oh, wow. I mean, I've put it right next to the highlighter that we just did. They go so well together. I am going to love this color. Oh, can you see that little pop of pink I just put on? It's like a Barbie pink. So much fun, especially in the summer when I don't necessarily have a full face of makeup on, just a little something to be like, hello, my cheeks are pink. Can you tell I did it? I love that color. This one I'm gonna close carefully and put back away for you guys. And then that's the set. So back to what I was saying, it is the blush and blush to go set by Bow Babe Beauty, $42 value, one full size and one travel size blush. Shades vary. Applied to the apples of your cheeks, these blushes blend seamlessly, providing a touch of warmth and vibrancy for a flawless finish. So this one is perfect for me and this one is perfect for one of you. Next out we have floss. I love floss. I haven't seen them in a while. This is my new favorite lip gloss. That is what the box looks like. My color is Ath, opaque finish. Opaque is the kind that you can't see through, right? So it's like a real color. Let's see. Ooh, that is beautiful and it's perfect for me. It's a nice, lovely pink. The paperwork says Ath Lip Gloss by Floss Beauty, $16 value. This gloss is not glittery, not sticky, and not grimy. This is the gloss that you'll take with you everywhere. It's hydrating, long lasting, smooth, and comfortable to wear. Use it alone for a semi-sheer wash of color or on your lipstick for added shine. I don't think I have a real shiny. I am still wearing, if you guys saw the higher collective sample size pops that I got, I need to order the truest. I keep saying that I'm going to order it and I haven't yet and I use it every day. Oh, look, that's got some, look at that blend. That's just totally a face that I want to put together. I love that it's all pink. This one is like totally Totally perfect for me. Oh yeah. Can you guys see the shine that I put on it? It would also be color on my lips if I didn't have lips on already. It tastes kind of sweet, maybe a little coconutty to me. It smells, I didn't eat it yet. <laughs> well, not that I'm going to eat it. You know what I'm saying. Next out we have Charmacy Milano. I don't know what this is yet. That is what it looks like. I don't know if you can tell, but the box looks textured and really pretty. Ooh, and it's sealed. Very easy to open though. The end says that it's a duochrome long stay eyeliner and I got it in DE02. I don't know if everybody did or not. It's kind of heavy. I love the way it feels. That is what it looks like. See what it says and then we'll play with it. It says that it's a double-sided duochrome eyeliner by Charmacy Global and it's a $12 value. I don't think that I've ever had a duochrome eyeliner. I don't know how that's possible, but I don't think I have. There are three color variations of this product. Each one is meant to coordinate with the palette in different ways. I have peanuts still in the box, but I see there's a palette underneath. One end contains a felt tip liner. This end is matte. The other end contains a solid gel liner. This end contains the duochrome multi-chrome. They are waterproof and smudge proof on both ends. All right, well, let's see what we have. This is our gel, that's our duochrome. Oh my goodness, can you guys, that is gorgeous. It was so creamy and went on so nicely. It's kind of a purple that duochromes to almost like a orangey gold. Oh my goodness, let's see what the matte end looks like. That is amazing. And then that is the other end. We'll just, oh yeah, the way I'm holding it right now, the top of the one I did just looks actually, almost looks like a gold to a green. It's, I guess it must be a multi-chrome then. All right, and then that, I did a really bad job. Don't hold it against this. I am just so good with liners. That is the felt line on top of it that I did the little swoop for but those are the two liners. We'll let them dry down and in a minute I'll, didn't it say, oh, 
that I was supposed to shake that first. Yes, waterproof and smudge proof. So smudge proof doesn't mean it won't move, but we'll give it a couple minutes and then we'll and see what happens. That hand is telling a color story that I am all about. I mean, if they made a box that was like, pick colors for Catherine, you're looking at it. That's amazing. And yet there's still a palette. This is a 25, have I said that enough times? This is a $25 box. I'm so excited for makeup. The palette is Wicked Widow Love Sick. It started to slide out. It comes right out and then it looks the same on the inside. Look how cute that is. Let me open it up. Ooh, those colors though. Oh my gosh. That is, it goes, you open it like a book. I'm gonna tuck this back because that mirror is gonna mess us up a little bit. Look at those colors. I will swatch these in a second. It says Lovesick Palette by Wicked Widow Beauty. It is a $36 value. The sister palette to the Wicked Widow Beauty Graveyard Smash Palette and their Tea Time Palette. This brand new launch contains four duochrome, multi-chromes, and four mattes. So all of those glittery ones are duo and multi-chromes. The shades are highly pigmented and blend like a dream. Complete the collection with their brand new matching Lovesick Lip Trio and a cosmetic bag. So let's just, oh my goodness. They are so creamy. We'll do the mattes first, and then I will circle back for the shiny ones. Those colors are gorgeous. Nicely picked up too. Very smooth, almost felt creamy. I'm gonna go ahead and do it here because the backside of my hand is full. That is gorgeous. That is gonna make such a pretty eye. Now let's go ahead. Oh my goodness. These, <laughs> I just have to finish up and show you guys. They are so creamy and wonderful. This one that looks completely white, it even looks completely white to me. It's that gold. Look at those. Those are so pretty. We'll put them right above these. Wow, they lay down gorgeous. I was thinking they were gonna be too glittery and I was going to have to use a glitter glue with them, but I'm not. They are gorgeous and and just so you know, look, it's almost, I know it's hard to tell on that because my fingers still look very pigmented. Almost all of it came off. This is very little left behind. And I always find that that's the sign of an eyeshadow that's gonna stay and lay down really nicely, even when you start messing with brushes. Those are gorgeous. That was the February box. That is amazing. And for what it's worth, I have seen the spoilers for the April box and it looks fantastic too. So this is the February box. This is fantastic. I have several takeaways. A, the colors are perfect for me. That is amazing. And B, this Charmacy, I don't think the eyeliner people, I don't think I've ever heard of that brand. And those eyeliners, ooh, let's try smearing them and see what happens. That is a lovely eyeliner. I mean, Oh, well, I have the eyeshadow on here and I haven't cleaned up yet, but I mean, it's not moving at all. Neither one of them is moving at all. That is fantastic. Okay, let me wipe my hands down real quick and we'll look at March. Wow, I won't look. The duochrome liner stayed even longer than the felt tip. While I'm cleaning up, let me tell you that this is a woman owned and Latina owned brand. Next out, we have our March box. So we have our March per paperwork very much the same way. Scoop these out of the way a little bit. And that's what we have for March. First out of the box, I have Bow Bay Beauty. We had one of those in here. That's who did our blushes in the February box. Liquid Highlight Drops, Gold Opal. I don't know anything about this. It looks really cool though. The paperwork says Gold Opal Iridescent Highlighter by Bow Bay Beauty, $35. This is a cream highlight with a dropper, but the formula is thick, so we recommend using a brush instead of the dropper, as it makes it easier to pick up. This color is absolutely stunning. It has a beautiful but light shift from white to gold. You can build this to make it more intense or blend it out for a super subtle golden glow. Well, that sounds very interesting. I love that they're just upfront enough to be like, hey, we put a dropper on it. The dropper's not working great. Use a brush. That is what it looks like. It is so cool looking. Looks like it needs a little shake. Let's uh, actually, let's do this. Oh, it barely even squeezes. So let's see if it even comes up with any. Yeah, it barely even came up with any. So I'm just gonna take it and put just a skosh right on my hand. 
and you can see it's kind of whitish, kind of goldish. So you can do this with, with just the mirror. That is what it looks like blended out. How'd we do? Oh, it goes very gold. It has a very gold, can you guys tell? Very gold feel. I cannot use that, but I will find it a good home now that I've had my hand on it. But that is super pretty. I am just so light that on me, it would, it would be very gold on my face. If you think about it though, this is making complete sense. The February box was mostly pinks, so it ended up being perfect for me. The March box, we started off with a gold one, cause you know, St. Patrick's Day and pot of gold. I have no idea if that's why they do it. We have Ofra, oh my goodness. We have the blush -zer. Not sure what blush -zer means, but we will be reading about it. Look, it's two different colors. This says unit, blush -zer by Ofra Cosmetics, $29 a pinky peach rose blush and medium worn bronzer in one. Every cheek is a better half with this liquid to baked formula that glides on and melts into the skin. With a split pan, bronzer and blush, this blush -zer, so blush -zer, blush and bronzer. I get it now. It adds dimension and warmth in one swipe from a natural healthy flush to an intense pop of color. Build your cheek color for all day wear with a flawless and smooth finish. Well, these look like colors that I think I can wear. So let's just give them a try. Those are the colors. Ooh, it's very creamy and smooth. And I'm right. I can absolutely use those colors. They looked a little dark in the pan, but on my skin, I think it's going to be absolutely perfect. Next out for March, we have Stina Face Velvet Dream Stick. It's about the size of a lipstick, but I'm not sure yet. It says, Bliss, Velvet Dream Stick by Stina Face, $12. This is a densely pigmented lipstick formula that not only gives unbeatable color payoff that lasts, but also leaves your lips comfortable and hydrated. Well, let's see if it's a color we think I can wear and I will change my lipstick. Oh, I like the shape of this. These are usually, I have very thin lips. So I find the ones that are, yeah, that are shaped, ooh, that's a good color, right? That are shaped like this actually fit my lips better. Okay, I'm gonna take this off and we'll put that on. That lipstick has some all day stay, so it's still kind of pink, but we'll put this over it. Ah. Uh, I will admit it's a little more warm than I thought it was gonna be, a little rustier. It, but it feels very nice. It's a little matte. Hey, didn't we have, I like that. Didn't we have a lippy in last month's? Yeah, look, watch this. We have this nice floss from last month that we just opened. We'll put a little bit of that over it because this is a little matte for what I like for when I'm taping. So we'll put a little of this over it. And now it has a little bit of shine too. I hope the color is okay. It's a little more brown than I choose, but I like it. Okay, this goes back in February. Next out, we have a ZC Living Colorfully. I don't know what it is yet. That is what that looks like. It looks like a very fancy box. Oh, I think it's gonna be Korean beauty. The paperwork says, oh, the paperwork says, Redness Correcting Primer by ZC Cosmetics, $22. You guys know, I. I can definitely use with some, it's usually a green base to cover up the red. Do not worry about the green shade. This green color will help counter any redness on the skin. Once you blend the primer out, all of the green will fade. Apply foundation on top. Well, we are opening this, that is for sure. This is what it looks like when we take it out. Oh, I love that it's got the little nozzle, so it's real easy to control how much you get. That is the actual green tint that we always see in products that are meant to cover red, so I can appreciate that. When we start getting it blended out, oh, she's got some green in there. Of course, there's nothing on my hand that's red for the green to be counteracting with, but it still seems to be fading. It's left it a little bit green because I put way too much on just this tiny area, but I can totally see how that would work and it feels really nice. It feels like it's gonna absorb. It does feel really nice. I look forward to trying that because I tend through here where I get the most sensitivity, I tend to be kind of rashy. So I think that the green 
will work nice over that. I'm anxious to try it. And last, in the bottom of this box, and maybe it's their thing, I've only had two boxes now, so I'm not sure, but we have a palette, so how fun that in both of our boxes we had palettes at the bottom. End of the Rainbow, Ladybug Glow, and Ice Cream Beauty. So it's a collab, and it is following my theory of this is March, and they were going for the gold. And it looks just the same when we take it out. Oh, look at these colors. And that is what that looks like. And those are, those are some lovely colors. End of the Rainbow Palette by Ladybug Glow X Ice Cream Beauty. It has a $30 value and it says, we are so honored to have Ladybug Glow Cosmetics in our box for the first time ever. This is a collaboration palette and a great introduction to their amazing formula. This palette contains two duochromes, one multi-chrome and six mattes. The duochromes are stunning, shimmery, shifty, and everything you could ever ask for in a duochrome. The mattes are also pigmented and easy to work with. So let's just see the green, it feels really nice. We'll do some of the mattes, these ones you see me hitting, we'll, here, we'll do this one. Those are some of the matte colors. Look how much pigment they have. That is fantastic. We'll put them over here on top of the, oh my God. Goodness, look at that. This is on top of that primer that I just put on and it has completely absorbed. Look at those colors. I should have used this at Easter. I, if I'd had this open, this absolutely is where my Easter look would have come from. Those are so pigmented and amazing. Let's try these duo and multi-chromes right here in the middle. Oh my goodness, that feels, it feels like a cross between creamy and a velour. It feels so, so amazing. Look at those. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna do them right on top of these other ones. Wow, so I did them here. When I look, when I catch the light of this one on the end, that is amazing. What a fun, fun palette. Okay, that is our first introduction on the channel to Ice Cream Beauty and I have to tell you, I am super impressed. And then this is what our March box looked like. Let me know below what you think, but I am so happy to be showing you makeup boxes. I do love a makeup box. This was February and March. I will put their link below. And if you go online, you can see the spoilers for the April box. So you could decide if you wanted it. But I think both of my boxes here, let me do a little bit of math. I think they both far exceeded the $25 in value they had. For these $25 boxes, the February box had a $118 value and the March box had a $128 value. Thank you so much for coming by to check this out with me. I am so, so happy to have them on the channel. They are fantastic. I look forward to seeing them in the future. And I wanna thank them for sending this over for us to try. Please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you'll know when I have more videos coming out. And I will see you guys really soon, I hope. Take care, guys.